Welcome to the Wake Up Channel. Please press subscribe button for more videos. And turn on the notification to the new video. We upload them every day. Breaking, former Trump employee releases statement on Omarosa. Lynn Patton, a former employee of President Trump's, and a longtime supporter, has issued a formal statement regarding fired White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman. Patton now serves as head of Region 2 of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which oversees New York and New Jersey. Patton posted a statement on Twitter Tuesday morning, that contained a link to her remarks. My name is Lynn Patton and I am a senior official in the Trump administration. White House leadership, both past and present, can confirm that I was the closest confidant and friend to Ms. Manigault Newman during her tenure at the White House, transition and campaign, texting and speaking multiple times per day. To that end, Omarosa attempted to contact me just two days ago, but I refused to accept her call. Like Ms. Manigault Newman, I have also known and worked for both the President and his family for over a decade and am confident that they would collectively confirm that I know them far better than she. To be clear, at no time did I participate in a conference call with Katrina Pearson advising me, Jason Miller and Omarosa Manigault Newman that Frank Luntz had heard President Donald J. Trump use a derogatory racial term, a claim that Luntz himself has also denied. What I can confirm is the following. On December 12, 2017, at approximately 11.30 p.m., EST, dash a date I now know to be the evening Omarosa was relieved of her official duties by General Kelly, I received a telephone call from her informing me that she had personally heard a second-hand recording of President Trump using the N-word in a derogatory fashion. She proceeded to tell me the full name of the individual who played this second-hand tape for her, from whom the primary audio tape had originated, as well as the specific context of the president's usage of this term and to whom the derogatory term was allegedly directed. Omarosa also proceeded to inform me that she had officially submitted her resignation to General Kelly and that I should promptly do the same before the audio surfaced. The next morning, I immediately notified senior communications officials and a Trump family member of the same, only to discover the true nature of her departure's termination. Today, the individual who Omar Oza confirmed to me as having played the second-hand audio recording to her last year confirmed that they have no tape, never had possession of a tape, never claimed to have possession of a tape and never played such a tape for Miss Manigold Newman. Tonight. On the MSNBC program, Hardball, Omarosa revealed to the general public what she had told me last December, that former Apprentice producer, Bill Pruitt, was the original source of the N-word tape. Bill Pruitt is a mutual friend. I just spoke to Bill Pruitt tonight before releasing this statement. He confirmed to me, before Hardball had even gone off the air, that he does not have an audio tape of President Trump using the N-word and has never had an audio tape of President Trump using the N-word. Period. Suffice it to say that the past few weeks have been wrought with disappointment, immense sadness, anger and outright disgust. Based upon her conflicting accounts and the newfound information revealed in my statement, it should be abundantly clear to everyone that not only is her book a complete work of fiction, but that the existence of this elusive N-word tape is a figment of her imagination and merely a destructive tool of manipulation applied only when it best serves her interests. Like countless other minorities and women, the President has given me the opportunity of a lifetime to rise up through the ranks of the Trump Organization and now proudly serve this country. Therefore, unless directed otherwise, this will be my only statement on the spaceless accusation and imaginary audio tape as falsely claimed by a former friend. My primary and sole focus remains the low-income and public housing residents of New York and New Jersey, as the President would expect it to be, and as the President has hired me to do. What do you think? Comment below the video. Share if you find this information useful. Share if you agree. Subscribe channel for more video. Wake up channel. Bring you the truth. Thanks for watching. We'll